Hello and welcome or welcome back to Small Talk. I'm Kirsty. And I'm Naomi. Hello. Hello, hello. How are we all? I don't know why I always say that. Like as if like if there's more than two of us. <laughs> as if I'm like playing Wembley Stadium. I'm like, how are we all? As you if just I just think you're Harry Styles and that's as if thing. I would ever be imagine what the heck would i be doing Start you would be reading poetry reading poetry um, that's what you would, would be doing that would be nice i mean uh, let's would... manifest that that sounds good yeah i don't want I... people throwing stuff at me though can we keep it like nice depends what they're throwing if it's money i'll take it yeah not oh, coins yeah, though like, not coins no, though that's what i no. mean because like i feel so bad i mean i don't feel bad for these people for a lot of reasons like i'm sure their life is great but like I feel so bad for people on the stage, like when they're having loads of shit thrown at them. Like that must mm. hurt. Especially if it's also if it's like underwear and stuff. I'm just like, what do you want me to do with dangerous. this? Dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Like the if bruises. it's like little cute like plushy toys and stuff, that's fine. But but also, like if that things, hits like, you in no. the wrong place, the right force. That is a good point. That is a good. Point. I just feel like, why? <laughs> mm. Is it necessary? Maybe there should be like a structure. Maybe there should be like a time period as if that would be chaos where you're allowed to throw things. Literally a countdown to like you have 30 seconds yeah, yeah, and then you yeah. can but throw person, your stuff like... and then you can't throw anything else. Yeah, exactly. But then the person is like in a safe zone so they won't get hit by it. Do you know what I mean? You just froze. You froze. Is so did you. Ah. Uh... <laughs> My connection is unstable like Great. my life, but it's okay. It's, it's fine. fine. We move. We'll, just, we'll power on. I'll just edit yeah. it out. I feel like um, to an extent, I do kind of get it because like if you want that person to have something, but you also don't want to like queue for 15 hours for a meet and greet or like pay the extra for a meet and greet. Yeah, and but also like, do you think they keep it. it all? Probably not, but no. if it's something like really, really personalized, if I was that person and I thought it was really personalized and really well thought out, I might keep it for a little while. Maybe not forever, but I yeah, think it's but nice. Yeah, also if you're getting like a hundred of them a day on the stage, do you know what I mean? Like I'd be a bit over it. But that's what I'm saying. If there was one that like really stood out, that mm-hmm. was like really special, I suppose. then I might. But if it's just a generic like pack of Primark underwear, don't do that. <laughs> I don't think I'd be keeping anyone's underwear. Don't do that. Yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> Like, no, I, I'm not saying if someone threw like a special personalized pair of underwear at me. Okay. But, like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know what you mean. I no, realize. that's fair. That's a fair point. I mean, I do know that like some celebrities and stuff like have stuff that their fans gave them, which mm. is like it's nice. I guess I'd, I'd be a shit celebrity. I'd get cancelled so many times, and not for being like problematic in the real. Yeah, world. you'd literally be like, listen. Don't give me anything. Don't like, even interact with me. Leave me alone. Don't even, don't perceive me, but still buy all of my stuff so I can have your money. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, That's you as a celebrity. I think I'd be like, just let me live my life. <laughs> yeah. Mind your business. Just let me live my life, but also love me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, I would be like rude probably not like um, i don't think i actually would be rude i don't mm. think i'd actually be rude but i think i would hate it like i don't but then think you might a... be like you might be a celebrity like like sia or like hannah montana mm, that would where be you have like an alter ego yeah, so you can still real. live hannah your montana own normal was, life hannah montana was not living to... her normal life though was she <laughs> the most ironic part about that no but like thing, that, that like, concept so of like famous. when you're ready to no i know what you mean no, but you know right. what I mean. No, like I know, when I you're know, ready but... to be the celebrity, you can be that. When you're ready to live your own life, you can mm. also have that. I like that. That's a good idea. I also feel like I have quite a like not like generic, that's like harsh on myself, but I don't feel like I have a like standout face. <laughs> like I don't feel like I could be in a sea of people and they'd be like, oh my god, that's Kirsty Taylor. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like I have like an approach But then I feel like and... nobody nobody thinks that they do until you become a celebrity. Yeah, maybe. Because there are some celebrities who are very, very generic, very boring yeah, looking true. people. But it's because they're true. famous that like you think that they're so much better. But that's kind of the better celebrity to be because then it's easier to hide. 
yeah. in plain in plain sight. Mm-hmm. Just like throw a hat on. Yeah. And like literally, good. Niall Horan was. To- I was. I was watching a Niall Horan in- interview earlier. Mm. Don't know why. Just find myself in a YouTube rabbit hole. What you do? <laughs> and um, and he was saying like how he can go to the shops and stuff now that he's like not in the band anymore, but he's still like massive. He just mm. wears a hat. I think because he was. He's not like he wasn't in the nicest possible way. He was never really like the main focus. No, but like he couldn't. Like, then. Never really cared for but him now that he much. Can. No, but like during One Direction, he couldn't do that. But now he can, because now he's like figured out ways to like be in public. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's fun. And I'm like, that's interesting. Like I feel like I would hate to lose those things. Mm. Imagine never being able to go food shopping again. Yeah, it's true. Or just it's like true. soul destroying. <laughs> like, or just like I go for a walk. Shopping. Yeah. Or just something or just like, simple, like like go to the park or like go to a theme park. Or just or like cinema, bitch with a just... friend. Like yeah. you couldn't ever talk in public because people would be mm. eavesdropping and they'd be talking shit about you. I'd be That's like, true. Oh, true. Every I single person you meet me. up with has to sign an NDA. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, just not here for it, you know? Like, I just think like, not, not for me. Not the life. If I was like, an amazing singer, right? Mm-hmm. Some like massively alternative universe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else is going well, on. Well, if universe. you think about the multiverse theory, there has to be a universe right. out there where it, you are. Exactly. There's a universe out there where you are a massive pop star. Amazing. Can't yeah. wait. But right. But I like if I want to be successful with that because I love it, then I've got to be fake. Like, no thanks. <laughs> Like, no, thank you. Do you know, it must be annoying. Do you know what I mean? If you just want to play music. And I get it. Like, you can still be, like, successful in your own right without being famous and music and blah, blah, blah. But, like, maybe you want that level of success. But you don't want, I mean, obviously, you can't have everything you want in life, can you? That's mm. that's that's just life. But it must be quite annoying sometimes being like, yeah. oh, well, I want to make songs that, like, people sing along to and, like, relate with and, like, do well and I make money from and I enjoy making and like are popular and that I can be here in 50 years and still be relevant Mm -hmm. I also want to go to the grocery store I want to pick up some food what if you were like you know like a voice actor but like as a singer because voice actors can be pretty famous and have voice like massive characters but nobody knows like you don't know who they are so if you just had like it's like the mad singer but all the time yeah so if you just had like because uh, you know there's like they've got these like um vocaloid things that are becoming quite mm-hmm. popular in japan which is just like a completely animated like ai pop star but instead of it being ai it's your oh, voice wow. but it's just like a completely different animation that people see so they still appreciate your voice and mm. your songs but they just don't know who you are yeah i mean I, that's a cool idea but the the mm. realistic part of it is that Everyone would fucking figure me out so quick. Someone would fight, yeah. Because yeah. I'm also the way people like people can internet sleuth. And I also be out. like chatting probably like at the concerts, like, oh yeah, I'm from do you know what I mean? I'd probably end up yeah. saying everything about myself. Like you know how I am. <laughs> I'll be like an mm. open book. I'll be a shit Banksy. <laughs> it would take them like less than a day. They'd be like, Oh, it's her. And I'd be like, What? No, how did you uh, No, no, it's not me. Oh did no. <laughs> never. It's not me. Exactly. But anyway, before we get on to the main topic, because this has really been quite a tangent, um, the other thing I have to say is, like, I'd be shit as well, because what is hilarious is, like, see all these people that record their podcasts, like, in studios and stuff, like, we're manifesting, we'll be there one day, blah, blah, blah. But also, like, they then do a video. <laughs> like, mm. excuse me? <laughs> I have to get ready for that? Like the funniest thing of all time is if I ever was to look back and I never do, but if I was ever to like look back at our recordings, not the recording to do with guests, I'd say like I probably I try to put a bit of effort in, in those situations. Mm. But like the recordings that we do small talk, well, I was to look back like at the visuals. Oh my never, god, I, never do. I don't they're even want to think about it. They're all on my laptop no. somewhere, but I like I Please don't look at them. them. And Please I'm like we just don't care. literally the amount of times I've just like rolled out of bed, still got my bonnet on, dressing gown on, like He's it's like, not that it. would be me as a celebrity. 
that would be yeah. me as a celebrity I'd be like oh Jesus I should have done my hair today or like something mm. like that do you know what I mean like I'm not cheating but then, again, but right then sometimes I feel like if that happens often enough you then become one of those celebrities that like the paparazzi don't pay attention to anymore because you're not giving <laughs> them anything like... interesting <laughs> you know what I'm I mean like, like I feel like again with my pajamas on the picture. yeah and they're just like because obviously I feel like the people that get more attention are the ones That's that like true. people anticipate that they're always going to look good. Whereas yeah, if you true. always just look like normal, <laughs> people are just going to be like, okay, well, I don't really, I don't really care that exactly. much. You know? Maybe maybe that's what you have to do then. But yeah. then you end up all those photos of yourself online forever that you really don't want. Do you know what I mean? I'd be like, um, can you take that down, please? <laughs> yeah, it's a hard balance to strike. It's a difficult one. Literally. I imagine yeah. it would be like, this is really not the same at all. But yesterday I went to get a library card and that was the only time I left the house. And I did get ready like yesterday, just like for the record. And then I was like, God, I can't be bothered. Like I was wearing like clothes I wear in the house. Like my mum likes to call them scuffies, which I think is adorable. Mm. So that's what we call them. So I was wearing my scuffies scuffing around the house you know and um oh i was like and i was like okay shit i have to go and pick up this library card and i was like oh i could just drive there it's not that far like and i could like park it won't be that expensive because i'm not going to be there long why don't i just go and do that and i was like okay and then i literally the only i only changed my trousers like i changed into mm-hmm. like, these corduroy trousers i was like i don't care so i was still wearing like my court my like scuffy like they're not they're actually fine like they're loungewear like not terrible clothes or anything but i was wearing like this oversized t-shirt this oversized jumper like no brand niece no cares i did put deodorant on in the morning just like for the records i'd like dried my hair that morning but i hadn't done anything with it and then i realized as i was about to get out of the car that like part of my hair obviously because of the length it is was like flicking out the way <laughs> because the rest of it was not doing that and I was like oh my god that's so embarrassing and I was like what do I do and I was like oh my god they're gonna want to take a photo like I didn't think about this and I was going in I was like oh my god they're gonna have to take a photo of me first. Wait, since when do you need to get a photo for a library card so I had to I just luckily I always have a hair bottle on hand so I just tied it back in like a half up half down and honestly in that moment I was like is this what it's like to be like paparazzi <laughs> yeah and you're like not prepared <laughs> like emotionally. but i'm still I'm stuck prepared. on the photo for a library card I thing i've never heard I of that know. being a thing before i didn't think that that was i didn't think a library card was that serious right. that they needed a picture well there you is go that just a, is, that is that a scottish thing i don't know <laughs> Interesting. anyway so um on the topic of celebrities the one thing that I would miss if I was a celebrity, well, I've just named a lot of things, but to segue into our topic, I'm going to say mm. the one thing I would miss as a celebrity is all the travel nightmares in my head, in my head, in mm. my life. And I know you're thinking, Christy, are you crazy? I would love to travel with no nightmares. And I'm just going to say it. My whole life, I have travel, had travel nightmares. Every trip I go on, there is a travel nightmare. If I do not have something go wrong on my trip, I was not on that trip. I, I was not there. I was not present because I've never, I don't actually, maybe I was with my family, but like on like a trip since being an adult, if that's what we want to call this situation, um, mm. I have never been on a trip where at least one thing has not gone wrong. And honestly, I could write a book. I could write 20. Every time someone goes, I message my best friends and they're like, this only happens to you. And I'm like, mm. Why? Why does it though? But also it's kind of become part of my traveling experience. And it's real character building. Like, God, I can handle travel nightmares better than anyone I've ever met because it happens so often. I don't even I just know how to react now. I'm just like, oh Okay, note to self, never travel with Kirsty. (laughs) But it's fun because because you always work out. You You do. do. Like and I don't mind like something going wrong. It does happen occasionally, but every single time I'd have to just believe that you're a bad omen. So just like went, I'll just meet you I'm there. Like, we're not traveling together. Celebrity and everything just went right, or like they were all like, "Oh my god, we've got to make everything perfect because this celebrity's here." And I'd be like, "No, where's the fun? Where's the story time?" Okay, it's no, like... I think this is where we segue because I I'm think like, I where? would enjoy where's just the, lu- the just the luxury of things going right. Just being like, "I'm going to this place. Book I think my private jet. Wrong. I'll turn up at the airport when I'm ready. Let's go. When I get there, all of my shit's already there and no, it's no, laid no. out. Perfect. That's what I want." I honestly think there was something wrong. Like, I'd be like, there's something happening. 
I mean, need in the world. you to love yourself a little bit more because why do you want this chaos no, in your life? Because I just I think it's fun to have the stories. Like it's nice. It's fun to have the stories <laughs> after, but it's not. But it's not fun when you're in the situation, you know. Well, sometimes it is fun because sometimes a good thing comes out of it, you know. Yeah, but very rarely. Honestly, yeah, most of the time, the thing, most of the time, that thing that comes out of it is extra money from your bank account to fix. No, the that's not my experience. I've never, <laughs> I've never paid extra money in my bank account for a travel nightmare. I'll have you know. Okay. It Fair has enough. never costed me money. Okay. I've, I have gained money from the experience. Oh, that's not too bad then. Money. That's not too money. bad then. Yeah. Actually, once. Well, that wasn't really well. Was it a travel nightmare? I was kind of like tricked, scam, mugged. I don't know what we would call it. But that sounds was, like a nightmare. You were mugged a, and scammed. That lot, doesn't sound good. There was a lot of things that happened in that day. That wasn't just like a, a one one and done thing. That was part of the the whole experience of the day. And um, so I suppose maybe maybe I did lose money that one time. But that was what kind happened? of my own fault for being stupid. What <laughs> happened? Tell the people. Okay. Let us know what happened. Well, that was um. Oh, that was a while ago. That was um when I was living in France and I was going from um paris where i was living to um my place of living for the next four months i was doing my training Mm. in paris and i was moving to the place where i was going to be living and working um with another girl who's also going to be moving and working there too um and we get to to the train station and everything's fine we're at garden or i'm like oh yeah everything's great but then we're like we can't find so so ridiculous now because i've been there so many times since (laughs) We can't find a train <laughs> because we're at the bottom, right? So we're at the underground part, like the right. Metro and you, you need the train and we're trains. Like, where are the where are the trains? Like where's yeah. the train to get to where we want to go? We're going around. We're seeing all these different platforms and all metros. And we're going up the stairs, and we still can't see the trains anywhere. And bearing in mind, we don't have a long time to catch this train. This mm. is not like something we've got a long time to do. And I'm like, where are the trains? And like, we're looking around. It must be like a Sunday or maybe on Monday. Who knows? In France, they're always on holiday. No offense. Like, but like, like, I'm like, where is everyone? Like, nobody is here. There's no one working. Like, there's no workers yeah. anywhere. I can't find anyone to be helpful. There's nobody around being helpful. Everyone's stomping around. Like, there's not even that many people around in general. I'm like, what is going on? And I'm like, where are these trains? And then the girl I'm with is like having a panic attack. Very serious. And like, genuinely mm-hmm. is having a panic attack. So then I'm like, fuck, because I've never seen someone have a panic attack. I mean, I think I'd probably had my own, but like, I didn't know how to handle like somebody else having one. And I was like, what mm. are you doing? Like, she's having a panic attack. Like, I don't know what to do. We didn't know each other that well. Like, we know each other for like a week. And I was mm. like, ah, what, what do I do? So that was awkward. So then this guy like came over and was going to like help us find the train station or whatever, like find the trains because it's a big, massive, gigantic building. People who've been to Garden Or multiple times are probably Yeah, like, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. But they're probably like, how do you not know where the trains are? And like now looking back on it, I'm like, how did we not know? I no, don't know. Be fair, I'm how thinking, I'm like, I literally was there last week and there were signs I really, everywhere. There were signs really everywhere, know. Kirsty. There I are really signs. I really don't know, everywhere. but we were okay. we were just having a day, you know? And so this guy said he's gonna like help us. And I was like, Oh, okay, great, amazing. So he's like trying to show us something. So he's sort of like this machine, and I'm like, we don't need tickets, like we've got tickets, like I've already got a ticket, mm. I don't need that. And he's like, no, 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 this will get you like where you need to go. And he's like, give me this money. And I'm so confused. This girl's still panicking. And I'm like, okay. And I give him my money. Then he runs away. And I'm like, oh, that was that was fucking done. So that's why I say, looking back on it, it was a pretty stupid you, decision you for me. You walked right into that one. Too, In then, fairness, this was like one of my first ever trips. Like this was right. early. This was this was newly, freshly turned 18-year-old Kirsty. This was like right. one month into being 18. Like, we were we were not we were not doing well you were young and naive (laughs) young and dumb you know we did eventually find the train station okay we're already in this and you didn't miss it we did miss it (laughs) oh but the people at the desk were really nice turns out there was people working who knew the people at the desk were really nice and they got us on the next train for free Okay. Um, but nice, we did nice, have to nice. spend five hours in Garden Or. Oh, doing nothing. I bet um, you did not move very far from that platform because you were like, "No, I fucking lose this again." <laughs> no, we did not. And we phoned our friends who from the training who were going to different places, and they were laughing at us and how oh we were so God. dumb. And I was like, 
valid. Um, yeah. And then it was just not very fun because Gardner is not a very nice place. It's, it's not, not a nice train station. It's not, there's not much going on there. Um, I've had other bad experiences there since. So yeah. I just really, I'm not a Gardner person. Maybe you just, just need to stop going to Paris. That's, try, I think, oh, that's never. the issue. I just try to avoid... Well, actually, it was the same time period that my other bad experience in Gardner happened. And now okay. I just... And I wasn't even travelling. That's, like, the most right. part about it. So I, I might as well tell the other story. So on, then. I was, like, dropping a friend off who was getting the train back. And I was, like, mm-hmm. there on holiday, and he was there on holiday, and he was going back to work, and I wasn't going back to work yet. So I was dropping him off to go mm-hmm. back to work. And then we were, like, in the queue at some... Ba- like, Gardner has, like, literally three bakeries or like something mm-hmm. like there's not much happening at all so we are in this like bakery coffee shop situation like in a queue waiting and then this lady this older lady like clearly drunk got her wine bottle in her paper, brown paper bag like could be oh sheep, god it was not in this situation and she's like taught she keeps being like ellie bell ellie bell like to me and i'm like oh go like leave me alone that's weird like the mm. whole beautiful I feel uncomfortable and I had really long hair which is hard to believe but like I had hair that was like built below my waist like mm. really long this was my long hair face okay I don't think you ever you didn't know me then I um, didn't was it different, I could not was imagine it, different, it. Was I a different time. couldn't imagine that at all wow um, okay and so she kept like stroking my hair grabbing my hair yeah. I don't really know it was a weird vibe so I just stepped away I didn't say anything. I didn't like make a face. I didn't make a body action other than stepping away physically because I was mm-hmm. uncomfortable. So then she slapped me. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it was great. You know, love being abused. On slapped the you? Yeah, she slapped me. But what Where? Was funny, Wait, in the well, face? She's quite short. Well, she was aiming for that, but she's quite short. So she missed my face and she slapped my shoulder. Um, Which normally I'd be like, whatever, but I had a sunburn on my shoulder, so it really fucking hurt. And then, yeah, I don't know. It was a very weird experience. Then these pe- then the police came over and like dragged her away. Whatever, it was fine. She was gone. They didn't like ask me, know. "Are you okay? Do you want to file a report? Any of that shit?" No, no. This is yeah. France. They don't care. They, don't care. <laughs> they were just like she's probably a repeat they offender. Like, they probably know her. They just like dragged her away, and then other all the people around me were like, "Oh my god, are you okay? Are you okay?" And I was like, "Oh, I don't you know what just happened." <laughs> I was a little bit overwhelmed, but I was like, oh, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm fine. Do you know I mean, like, very dazed. And yeah. then the same day at Gardenor, at the What's metro there, of Gardenor, I was, like, standing on the platform, and I was like, oh, why is everyone leaving? I was like, mm. oh, people are leaving. There's something weird going on. And I was like, God, there must be something happening. And I was like, right, okay, this is odd. And then all the police came down. French police are really scary because they've got like really big guns and shit. They have got very, massive, yeah. Very intimidating. And I was like, okay, well, the police are coming down. So I think I'm going to get off this platform because I mm. might get shot. Like, I don't know what's going on. Because I couldn't understand. Like, I can speak like conversational French when I, at mm-hmm. best when I try. But like, I can't even understand the bloody underground in London doing the announcements. So how mm. can we go and understand French announcements on a metro? Like, because it's it's so fast and the accent is so strong, it's very overwhelming. So I had no yeah. idea what was going on. So eventually I figured it out and there was a bomb scare on the platform. Ah! Oh my god. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's fun. Cool. And it's fine though. There was no bomb. Everything was fine. I got the next one. Everything was grand. And I survived. But now I avoid Gardenor whenever possible. I have been there since and survived. Okay. Fine. And I had no issues. Okay. But I'm just very um very um weary whenever I'm there. I'm like, oh, I need to keep my wits about me when Fair I run enough. in this place. So um, yeah, that that's my garden horror stories. But I have oh, um, I have some other stories. But I want to know if you have any stories because I have I feel like, like I have had a couple, but mine are like not even that bad. I mean, I have oh, one got, that's, that's not even, they're not even my worst. That was like oh Jesus. Okay, well, I mean, I have one that is France related, but I think it was like the okay. first time I ever went to Disneyland. And me and my friends got the coach from London. Mm-hmm. So we were supposed to take the coach from London to... To Disneyland? No, from, to the, because I had a friend who, like, she couldn't really fly and it was just complicated for her and the Eurostar was expensive. Oh. So we got the coach. To I mean, so we got the coach from London to Paris Airport, Charles de Gaulle Airport, and then we were supposed uh-huh. to get the train from there to Disneyland. How long did that so take? The coach is like nine hours, but we were going to get, we got an overnight one. So oh, so it's like London to Edinburgh. It. 
yeah but the thing is was that when we once we got down to the border mm-hmm. um for I some reason at like work you might want to check the connection setting in the google <laughs> phone now scared the shit out of me <laughs> Jeez. I'm not. I'm not taking that out. <laughs> Happy Halloween, um, everyone! This is coming wow. out on Halloween, so there you go. Um, that actually scared the shit. That was terrifying. <laughs> um, but yeah, for some that. reason, like we got down to the border at like three a.m. and there was a backlog. Mm. I'm like, how the hell is there a backlog for the Euro Tunnel at three o'clock in the morning? How many people are trying to go through this tunnel? So we were delayed there for like two hours, meaning mm. we then missed our train connection. So then, once we eventually got to the airport they unfortunately the, the people at the ticket office were not as helpful to us as they were to you and they kind of were just like well that's not our fault that's your fault so you're just gonna have to pay for a whole new one Rude. um so that was very annoying and we didn't get to disneyland at the time that we had hoped because we were hoping to get there like right as it opened to make the most of our time but whoever whoever was trying to get through the euro tunnel at two o'clock in the morning i need you to reevaluate your life Says because that was a well. massive inconvenience for me that was a massive inconvenience for me and I didn't appreciate it because it was my birthday and oh. I was trying to get to Disneyland and you were being selfish okay yeah Very. and then <laughs> there was another time when I was interrailing and I think we were trying to go from like either Slovakia to Hungary or Hungary to Slovakia whichever way and we were at this train station and our train was delayed by like a hundred minutes like precisely 100 minutes that's such a random number so then then we're just sitting in the station not like one hour 40 100 no 100 minutes exactly like it literally was on the board delay 100 minutes (laughs) who who does that that's so weird and then so then we're like sitting at the station I'm like leaning against my suitcase like half asleep because we're quite a bit away mm-hmm. through our interrailing trip I'm like exhausted and this homeless man just like comes up to me and he's just like sort of going past like a few times and just staring at me and I'm like is this like a woman thing is this a black thing like there are so many reasons this man could be staring at me like this mm-hmm. like there's a lot happening and then he comes right up to me and just starts like touching me just like stroking Ooh. my leg like, bearing in mind he hasn't said anything to me what is and with this people is like, and touching you this is not? like a, also because but this is like a very very grimy man like he smelled Ugh. like he was visibly dirty the, clearly didn't people speak think any that's english okay? and was just like and i was wearing a skirt and i had like my legs up kind of bent and then he just tried to put his hands in between and i was like Sir. no and then like other people came and like took him away and were trying i think they were trying to ask me if i was okay but obviously there was like a massive language barrier and it was just like i was like this train cannot get here any faster because what the fuck was that i was just minding my own business ew yeah, it wasn't it wasn't it it wasn't it uh it wasn't what it. the fuck yeah well i think the only a- really like travel not really disasters i've had has just been like if i've booked a hostel online and then i've got there and it's been like oh this doesn't exactly match up to what i expected but it hasn't really been anything like (laughs) yeah it's not been anything like disastrous (laughs) like there was one hostel i stayed in that like had bed bugs Mm. so that was like an interesting one with a shit in the shower so nice nice love that no i can't actually and i'm glad i'm glad i can't do that it was in glasgow so you know that's oh. fun isn't it <laughs> she just like paid extra for the premier in but it was yeah. seven pound for one night i should have known what i was getting myself into. well there it is there it is but yeah nothing all that like disastrous seven has ever pounds. really happened to me on a on a holiday and I'd, I'd like to keep it that way fingers crossed so please don't mm-hmm. like Valid. jeopardize me please don't do okay. that because i'm going to japan next year so if something goes disastrously wrong and i'm in japan that's gonna be the end of my existence well, on a lighter like note, do one of my recent travel nightmares that's just so ridiculous and so me. Okay. Was um well actually there's two. So one from interrailing that I just think is so ridiculous is I was in I mean a lot of things happen on interrailing, you know, mm. life happens. It a lot does of things went wrong. But anyway, this one I think that is a little bit part of interrailing though. Like small oh, yeah. things do go wrong, yeah. But course. this one situation is just so <laughs> like what, like only can happen to me. So 
I was in the hostel in Paris. It was like my second night there or something because I moved from one hostel to another hostel. Like, I don't know. Just because of booking stuff, like, not a big deal. Um, And I was in the second hostel I was staying in. And I mm-hmm. had just, like, had a shower. And I was like, okay, right, I've just had a shower. So I had my pyjamas with me, obviously. Um, I was, like, wearing my pyjamas. And then I had, like, a towel with me with my hair in it and, like, I think I had like maybe had a hairbrush and that was like in a hair dryer and that was it. That was like all that was in my hands. Maybe I had my, my room key, like I didn't have my phone. I think I had oh, my phone, nothing else. And I was like, um, and in the hostels you have like a locker. So I had like put the padlock on my locker and um, I thought the code was like, was this code that my parents told me it was? And like, it must have been because I locked it earlier. So like, it must have mm-hmm. been. And then the code was not working. And I was like, um, what's happening here? And yeah. I the other codes, I thought, oh, it could be that, it could be that, not working. And I was like, oh, sh- shit. All of my stuff is in that bloody locker. Yeah. I can't get into it. What am I going to do? And my passport, everything. And I was like, my whole life is in there right now. And I was like, I can't go down. Like, what am I going to do? And I was like, I can't go downstairs like this. Like, I'm in my pajamas with soaking wet hair. Mm. And like, this hostel is like a hostel bar situation. So, like, right. Yeah. It's like Friday night, it's heaving outside. Like, you can hear the music playing. Like, the queue is going out the door. <laughs> and I'm like, I am not going downstairs like this. Like, that is mortifying. Like, this is mm. not a good situation. I'm like, what am I going to do? And I'm like, what can they even do anyway? Like, if I do mm-hmm. go downstairs, like, what can they do? And I was like, well, it's a combination lock. The mm. only. The only thing I can do is try and break the code. <laughs> and I started, and it's a three-digit code. I started at zero, zero, zero. Oh my god, you were gonna be there forever. And I worked my way up. It took me an oh, hour and a half. Jesus and Christ! And I would stop. And the worst thing was, it was at this awkward height, so I had mm. to, I was cr- like crouching doing it, and it was killing my back and my neck and every part of my body. So I kept taking breaks. I don't know what. <laughs> watch harry styles videos of like him in concert because he'd played like a concert the night before and there's like tiktoks and stuff up so i do like a couple like i do all of the 200s and then i'd be like right okay time for like a tiktok break <laughs> and i'd watch a video and then I'd go back and keep doing it back and forth. <laughs> so i could like sit or lie down and then i like had a couple moments where i was like fuck it i'm just gonna have to leave my stuff there like it's done like it's over i'm mm-hmm. i can't do anything i was meant to be meeting my friend i was messaging her like i think i'm gonna be late but yeah no i was like i don't really know the situation right now like this is a shit show like i can't even dry my hair like i think my hair dryer is literally in the locker as well that's like, gonna have to rewash my hair because it's gonna dry wrong now and i was like this is a nightmare and it was like in the 500s the code and i can tell oh, you for god. the love of god another girl like came in the room while i was doing it and i had to explain that like I had forgotten my code and I wasn't trying to break into someone's locker. Like, not that she was thinking that anyway. And honestly, the, like, the enthusiasm that she had when I broke the code was, like, very much to me that mm-hmm. I was very, like, appreciative because I actually don't think I've ever sighed or, like, cried. I nearly cried with relief. And, like, I literally, like, went, yes! Like, very, <laughs> like, very, very, like, emotionally. I'm yeah. really glad that like she gave me the same energy back. I was like, thank you. You do meet it. some lovely people in hostels. You really like, do. That was just not it for me. Yeah. And I was like, this is something that only I can do. <laughs> I locked all of my stuff in this stupid locker and I can't get it out. My other I reckon one... you should have just gone to the bar. They definitely would have had bolt cutters because I guarantee you're not the first person to ever do yeah, that. Yeah, but now I can still use the lock, you know? Yeah, I guess. I've got one more that's a recent one, but as in like last week or something recent. Okay. It's the main reason why this is going up late and everything else is mm. going up. A little bit, we a little bit lost our schedule for a minute was because of um this situation. So <laughs> I was going, I don't know how I was talking in that really weird voice. <laughs> it's like the weirdest voice I've ever done. <laughs> I'm in that like mood. We are recording just for like reference. We always record at different times. Like, we don't have a set mm. time. And I feel like it's really funny because like, I feel like we're different people at different times of the day. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. Small talk listeners get all, all sides of us. And um, it's kind of. I think that's real. 
I mean, definitely. It's currently only 9 p.m., which is really not that late. But it is, okay? But it's we're both awesome. just, like, hanging on by a thread. It's, it's awesome. I'm losing my sanity. And it's been dark since, like, 4 o'clock. It has. It's also um, Halloween weekend. Well, that it's been, that it's also Halloween me. weekend for, for me. Well, it's impacted me because I've been like, out, like, two <laughs> nights in a row and worked. So I'm just, like, I'm Meanwhile, I haven't here. left my flat all <laughs> It must be nice. It must be nice. I just nice. Don't really like Halloween. Sorry, everyone, if you're listening and you love Halloween. You I know just... the one thing I would say I love about Halloween is seeing what? everyone's like creative costumes. Yeah, I love I, seeing I, like when people are I like. I just like going out and wearing a oh, like, CBA. <laughs> I'm like, I can't be bothered. <laughs> That's fair. That That's fair. I just like wearing a costume and, and seeing then... other people's costumes. Yeah, I'm just like if I don't do all the like go, I don't but... do all the like trick or treating and pumpkins and Halloween. No. I don't do all that shit. I just want to go to a party no, no, and wear no. a fun costume. That's no, it. like if someone invites me to something, like I'll go and I'll dress up. Like don't have anything happening, and also like I probably could have like figured something out fast. It's not that deep. I was like, I don't yeah. really care. Like I don't care. I feel like it's one of those things that's like hype so much. So you feel like it's got to be like a big kind of like New Year. Like you've got to mm. do something, and I was like, yeah, but I don't want to do something. So I'm not doing something. That's naturally the situation. Um. So yeah. So I was going to Germany. Like I don't know when. Well, maybe it was like a week. Whatever. Like in the last couple of weeks in October. I don't remember when I went. Even though it wasn't that long ago. Um. And I get this message on the Sunday, and my flight is on the Monday, and it says, "Um, sorry, just that you know your flight's being cancelled tomorrow." And I was like. <laughs> that's a good one that's funny that because the last time i had a flight booked was when i was supposed to go to nice in easter and what happened then flight cancelled when was the last time we got a plane before that pre-pandemic 2020 copenhagen <laughs> and i was like this is not happening <laughs> like the planes are not want me on their planes i was like my flight has been cancelled this is not funny and i was like okay right maybe i can figure something out I can see, like, is there another day I can go or something? Maybe I can go early, go late. Like, I don't mind. So go online. I'm like, okay. There's a strike, it looks like, from Monday to Wednesday. And I'm like, okay. And I'm flying out on Monday. I'm flying back Friday or Saturday. No, Saturday. I'm like, well, I don't want to go Thursday. What's the point? I'll be there for less than, like, one full day. And I was like, mm. oh, maybe I can try and find something like on Skyscanner or something for like tomorrow. And I was like, canal, it's like 500 quid to go to a different airline for the next day. Not happening. Because this was like my flight voucher. So this was supposed to be a 2020 holiday, which just makes it even more ridiculous that I was supposed to be on this holiday two years ago. <laughs> and I was like, people just really don't want me to go to Germany. <laughs> like, what's, yeah. what's the beef? And I'm meeting up my friend who I hadn't seen in six years. Um, so I was like, I am going. This is mm-hmm. happening. So I was like, okay, maybe I can do like a train or a plane or something. I was like, mm-hmm. I don't know. But then I was like, do you know what? I could go today. And I was yeah. like, am I really saying this? And I was like, I could totally go today. Like, let's message my friend. She can't host me tonight. It's fine. I can get a hotel for one night. But let's go today. I'm like, let's yeah. see if there is anything. There's a flight for today. Reschedule. For today, for free, mm-hmm. doesn't cost me any money. Perfect. Probably buy what I've already paid. I was like, let's do it. Okay. Yeah. And nice. I was like, shit, I'm going today. <laughs> it's like fucking 10 o'clock. I'm like, I have to be at the airport at seven. I'm like, I got to pack. Like, I got to figure everything out. Like, I need to, like, I don't even think I own everything I need to take with me. I'm like, this is not good. So, worked all that out, got all my stuff, packed all my belongings. Made that flight, got on that plane, everything hunky dory. Arrived in Dusseldorf. Now this is key information. Arrived in Dusseldorf. Hey. My friends messaging me, oh yeah, okay, I'll meet you at that platform too to go to this place. I'm like, yeah, yeah sound amazing, great, yeah, I've got it. I'll be there at this time. Like I'm on the Sky Train now. Okay, yeah, I'm at that platform. I don't see, I don't see, I don't see the train that's going there though. I think there's been a miss. I don't see what's like. There's not one for that time. And she's like, right. No, there should be one for that time. Like I'm looking at platform right now, and I'm like, no, that there's not. And then she's like, wait, where are you? And I was like, what do you mean where? I was like, I'm in Dusseldorf. And she's like, no. And I was like, what? 
she's like i'm in cologne and i was like oh my god huh? i was yeah, like excuse me i was like excuse me what do you mean and i was like i did think actually looking back on the message as she said earlier that like, look like i said something about cologne and i was really confused i was mm. like are we not going to do so dwarf but i thought maybe i just read it wrong and somehow the place this neighborhood exists in Cologne and to Dusseldorf that the place was going to because both came up for Google Maps. I was like, what the... So I was like, um, okay, well, maybe I can just like stay here the night and like come tomorrow. And she's like, no, no, it's actually okay though. It's only like a 40 minute train journey away. Mm. I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. But like, bear in mind it's midnight at this point. I'm like, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's good. That works. So I've only got hand luggage. So I'm like, oh, at least I don't have a lot of troops around. And I was like, yeah okay like but how would I get there like what's the situation she's like I'll have a look I'll figure it out I was like okay right cool I'll just get the train that works like be a lot cheaper than the hotel probably that's grand so then <laughs> oh no wait yeah so then I get on this so then I end up going back to the same platform mm. got my ticket I'm like okay I'm going here this is fine everything's great I'm on the train and then first of all the lady's rude she's like, I'm supposed to stamp the ticket or something and I was like I don't speak German mm. I don't know what you're saying and then I was like I'm so sorry I didn't see anything to stamp it like I don't know how you do that and I didn't see anything oh well there will be like a 60 euro fine if you don't stamp it and all this stuff and I was like okay I'm really sorry like I can't if you need me to I can pay that and then she just stamps the ticket and doesn't find me and I was like that's fucking stupid what? like yeah what was the point? that's about nothing for her. I was like okay thanks but then I'm like on this train and my friend's like are you sure that's going to Cologne I'm like what do you mean are you sure am I sure I'm on the train like are you messaging me <laughs> she's like oh my god Kirsty it's going the wrong direction and I was like oh my god no, not. I was like no you're having me on Google Maps says it's going the right way but then I reopened Google Maps and obviously it takes a while when it's on a train to like update because the train goes yeah. so quick and lo and behold I have gone the wrong direction by a whole oh, city and I'm, like, oh. I'm like okay um, that's fine I just get a different train to go. I'm like, I just find a hotel here. I don't care anymore. And she's like, No, it's fine. Right, there is a train from there to Cologne. I've looked. I found one. I can get it for you online. I'll send you a screenshot and everything. It'll be grand. And I was like, Okay, great, perfect. And I was like, But my phone's gonna die. So like, how am I gonna show them this ticket? But prepare, Christy. Came came in. Mm. I had my emergency phone charger with me. Which I didn't actually, I don't think I charged it before it left, so I was stressing. But somehow it still had charge in it, so I must have charged it last time I went away and didn't use it. So mm. I had my emergency phone charger, got on that train, got to Cologne. Everything was fine. At Thank what time worry. of the morning did you finally arrive in Cologne? Oh, I don't know, like 2 a.m. or something. So it wasn't too late, it wasn't too bad. The situation could have been a lot worse. Mm. Um. We worked it out. I have just a bit of a miscommunication. I think on both ends, there's miscommunication. Yeah. Yeah, it was not one sided. And it was nice because then I got to stay like at her parents' house the night before. I got my flight back mm-hmm. um, because like they live near Dusseldorf. And then like on the way back, I got back. No issues, no problems. So, yeah, you know, I'm just living that travel nightmare life. It's just it's so great, you know? We love I don't the story. Believe- I don't believe that it is great, but I'll let you have it. If it makes we, you happy. We love a story. Just think. Like, we love a story. I, I don't mind write, hearing a story. When I, I write this it. book, because honestly, like, maybe I should. Like, I could really pop off. Like, I honestly think I could write, like, a novel. About like, all of your genuinely. horrific travel experiences. Yeah, like, genuinely, I think I could be, like, one of those, like, Lonely Planet books. Do you know what I mean? Oh, my gosh. Like, in the travel section. Like I could actually write like a travel piece. I and see I could call it. it like turbulent travels, you know, just like <laughs> off, off of my branding, you know. Yeah. Turbulent twenties yeah. and I've got turbulent tw- travels. Turbulent travels. Honestly, I think it'd be a bestseller because those stories are so mad. I have so many. Like every time I tell people, they're like, How happened? do you do this? Yeah. They're like, how do you have all these stories? And I'm like, mm. I don't know, but then I could give people really good tips, you know? I could be like, "How's here's how to deal with this situation. Here's mm-hmm. how to not get in this situation. You know what I mean? Mm. Just like relatability is important. <laughs> I guess, <laughs> but I'm still going to leave you to experience all of those horrible things. And I, I would know. very much prefer to not experience That would be my favourite thing. If we were like a podcast that like had people write in, which honestly, like I want to be one day because I think 
that'd be fun to do like random episodes like that so like please send us to all your friends so we can grow our listenership so we can do that because that would be such a fun episode we just like read other people's travel nightmares and like mm. yeah that'd be so yeah. much fun I would that love would it. be good love every that second of it yeah i think we should do that so, we should put a pin in that idea we'll definitely we come back to it absolutely yeah. so um we are gonna end off here because i've literally told too many stories and i could be and here. i'm, just, be here I'm just knackered I'm we just could be here all year and i'm not like <laughs> silly mood that i like need to go to bed you know? yeah maybe you'll just do a solo episode which is just you like reeling off all of your stories <laughs> honestly i could do that i feel I'm not sure series, I, I think. how people would enjoy listening to that but... i would i would listen to it and that's what's important that's nice yeah. that's nice to know well as long as i listen one to li- it while i was traveling as long as you have one listener it's worth recording that's what exactly. i always say exactly it's exactly. about quality not quantity you know? but that being said we do still want to grow our fan base and have more listeners so don't just like stop listening please tell all your yeah, friends don't leave okay. <laughs> don't leave us don't leave us please don't tell please, all please your friends leave. and if you don't already please follow don't us leave. Follow i already us. have attachment issues don't leave me <laughs> if you don't already follow us then then please do so tiktok instagram at fancy leather mm-hmm. check it out mm-hmm. more uh more travel stuff coming soon so stay Thank tuned <laughs> Year, and um year. yeah enjoy i, hope I reckon gonna... the next travel issue is gonna be me all of the horrific things that happen when i come and visit you in scotland because that's gonna happen soon Ooh, i've decided that'd be so nice and it's just gonna be me IRL. messaging you being like i've got on the wrong train i'm <laughs> heading up for some reason i'm going the wrong way i'm going to like wales or some shit and you're gonna be like <laughs> what the hell or i'm gonna be like yes i'm in <laughs> scotland come and get I'm... me Imagine, I'm imagine Glasgow, you thought you were going to Scotland right and, you, and you end up in Wales. <laughs> I'd be a bit pissed. No offense to Welsh people, I'd also be pissed of p- pissed of like I thought I was going to Wales and I ended up in Scotland. Yeah, not really the same vibe. Yeah, yeah no, it's true. It's I mean, true. I wouldn't be but it's confi- like... it can be confusing because sometimes you have those trains that just go direct. So if you miss one stop, you're fucked, or you accidentally get on the wrong train, you're <laughs> fucked. So like because you're like know. I can't even just get off the next stop because the oh, next yeah. stop is a different country. Like, yeah, I I'm got sorry. lucky with that train going the wrong direction. To be fair, it didn't go that yeah. far. But that it was only one stop that I know. Because <laughs> can you imagine mm-hmm. if I ended up in like Berlin? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And my ticket was not even for there. So that would have been worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That would have been a fine. To be fair, I actually think my ticket was for like anywhere, so it would be fine. But yeah. But um, yeah. So thank. you listening everyone have a wonderful week i will be back with a a fun fancy brother episode next week i'm really excited about next week i'll give you a little clue it's um it's related to like easter eggs so like the people that know know. if you know you know so like (laughs) i'm not gonna say anything else because like i don't want to i'll i'll tell you after um it's a fun one with a guest and i'm so Mm -hmm. excited so stay tuned Mm -hmm. and um It's not like with that person though that like does the Easter eggs because I'm not that I'm not that pretty. I wish that would be that's another clue. I really wish, but um, okay, it's about that person and other things to do with that person. Okay, anyway, so um, so yeah, thank you for listening and uh, stay tuned and have a good week. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and uh, follow, follow, subscribe. Yeah. There, yeah. All the things. Website the review, review, all that. Do all, all that jazz. Do it all. We love mm-hmm. it. Thank all you. that lot. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye.